Hey guys, I'm here with Capone, Capone's board, but we're looking for lights. I've been using a handheld, a couple handheld uh, searchlights. I figured I'd share this with you. Yeah, we're gonna order one. I'm looking at, I was looking at the ACR 95 LED searchlight and uh, search and spotlight, but uh, you know, that, that mounts. But they have the go light LED spotlight on sanction mount for six, 93 pretty cool plugs right in the front you know that's 700 bucks but it does throw 900 feet we're gonna step back and we're gonna look at this one GL 2100 go light radiology 2100 wireless remote but uh, looks to be pretty nice this one is three hundred and seventy dollars all right Let's take a look at this. Okay, we got a 65 watt bulb produces wide spot beam that provides 700 feet of coverage with 1300 lumens comes with a wireless remote control operation allows 370 degrees of rotation and 140 degrees of tilt light is fixed on a 12 inch sanction mount post that enables light to be removed for storage That's what I want I got an anchor up there and you know I don't want to kick this thing off or break it. 8 by 8 by 20 inches so it's good size you know anybody that does night fishing or out there at night we navigate some pretty uh, pretty tight spots on the river and it's pretty dark out there at night. Alright we're gonna order this and get it here. Peace. Alright guys we got our package. Capone's pretty excited as you can see yeah all right, let's check this thing out. All right, on the front it says, damages due to shipping must be reported within two days of receiving package. So, yeah. So when you get it, make sure you open it up. Of course you would, it's like Christmas. All right, I wouldn't use it, but you know, whatever. My boat has one. Most boats do, right? Alright, as you can see, it comes with the running lights. I meant, I forgot to mention that. Yeah, and it's solid, man. This thing is, it's a lot bigger than what I thought it was. Yeah, it's a good five pounds. Good five pounds. But, uh, well built. Solid construction. Really not sure where it's made, probably China, but I suck at directions, so hopefully we don't need directions. So that's where Kim used to come in. All right. Yeah, that's pretty freaking nice, huh? You know, it's not LED, but it is 65 watts, so, you know. All right, what else we got? We got the little remote control. We'll get that open, little handheld. Yeah, so it goes up, down, left, right, fast and slow. Comes with batteries. Let's get this thing rolling, huh? Anyways, yeah. That's what we're talking about. All right, I'm gonna get up in the boat because I don't want, well, I guess it can only go one way, right? And that locks it in. All right. That's what we're looking at, guys. That's nice. That's gonna be, oh. That's a game changer right there for night fishing. It looks pretty good in there, actually. Oh, that locks in. All right, so that locks in. Let's see what we got. Get some power on that bad boy guys I, I didn't read directions I just I'm gonna hold this down for 10 seconds I think it said oh that's nice dude huh that is sweet that's pretty bright too man I think that's gonna be a game changer out there guys this is badass for sure but we're gonna see how bright it is tonight, so stick with us, huh? Alright guys, it's a, it's a little 
shaky, so that's an issue. Yeah, it bounces around a lot up there, so you gotta be careful of that. Yeah. So far, bouncing around is a huge issue in the waves. But, you know, even bouncing around, it's working. We'll get back with you when it gets dark, see how this thing lights up. He's that's what we're seeing. Yeah, that's part of what we're seeing out there. Alright, nice little jack, Robbie. Nice, huh, Capone? Alright guys, testing this light. It's about what I thought. Yeah. You know, we got issues with it bouncing, so we gotta get that fixed. But navigating through places like this, I mean, that's pretty cool, guys. I know the GoPro really probably doesn't show it. But, uh, yeah, I think it's pretty cool. I mean, it, it, it yeah. Yeah. I wish I spent the 700 and got the LED one, but you know, that's 700, that's, that's like spending a thousand dollars, so, but I guess, uh, you know, you get what you pay for, but this will work. Yeah, that's pretty far, huh? Yeah. That's 500 feet, easy. Cam that camera doesn't show it. Though. Yeah, this camera, the GoPro isn't showing anything, I know. It's a bad review with the GoPro, but it's all I got. But yeah, it's finding us mullet and everything. Check that out. Hell yeah. Definitely a huge, huge plus out here, guys. Especially in these tight channels with the sandbars. I mean, it's, you go right to that red right there, you're Looking for another red rod. There's the red, straight ahead. The mullet run, there we go. Pretty cool, huh? Starting. We're not having much luck though. Check that out, huh? That's the mullet room. Monster. Oh, monster. Oh, Tarpon or it's what? I don't know. It was huge. Keep him away from that duck. Oh, is that a shark? No. No, no, no. Don't, don't tighten that drag. Leave it alone. Take your time. Got the whole water. He's perfect. He's going left. Don't don't hold that line. Whatever you do. Yeah. Monster. I would guess tarpon. That's scary. Whatever. <laughs> Look at that sucker. It's that big. It's that big. He's far from done. Just keep him. You may have to come to the. Come back here. Oh, he's going for the dock, guys. Going for the dock. <laughs> Oh, he's in it. Back. Keep reeling. Keep reeling. Bull him. 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 He's pulling us under the dock. Oh, he's way in there. Oh, you. That's gonna. Be, man, I hope he goes left. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Bull him. Keep going. Bring him to me this time. Oh, look at the size of this fucking snook. Oh. Holy fuck! There's your PB, Robbie. Wow. Yeah. Keep, Holy keep shit! No, you can't. <laughs> Holy mama! All right. Wow! <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit! Hold what? that. You gotta hold him tight, boy. PB what? right there. He'll never. Wow. Wow, that thing's a monster. That is a monster. 
wow. Don't lose them, hold them tight. Wow, look at the size of that snook, guys. Wow. Wow. That's Holy fuck, that's <laughs> monster. That is a monster. That is the biggest snook I've ever seen. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yeah, that's that's a big snook, guys. All right, let's get a measure on him. Um, this side, Robbie. Oh, he yeah, he's as long as my measuring. <laughs> Let me move my pole. That was my pole. I pa he broke his line, so I gave him my fucking pole. I had a pole. feeling it was gonna happen. All right, it wasn't moving. <laughs> you hold his head. Let me see. Oh, he's bigger than yeah. He's he's monster. He's monster. He's monster. He's bigger than this. Yeah. Wow. Well, so he's uh, let's see. He is uh, wow, well, 40, 46, 46 inches. Wow, forty six inch snook, guys. We gotta get some pictures though, and then get him back in the water. Okay, peace. Love you. <laughs> all right guys we're getting ready for the release what a beauty it's a heartbreaker but it's the right thing to do all right let's get him in the water don't let him go though we'll get him moving back and forth revive him how's he doing That's what we came out here for. Wow. What a monster snook. Oh, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah. Glad I tied that on, huh? I think she did get by <laughs> one of the pylons. Yeah. That's freaking awesome. All right, guys. Love you. Peace. All right, guys. Here's an update on my life, Burko. Well, the problem is I only had one from the fact, you know, when they built the boat. Yeah, they didn't leave enough room to, uh, fix that so I only had one screw holding it anyway so what we're doing is I got a pole light you know anchor light and uh, it's on it's gonna be on an ankle on an angle but uh it's it's sturdy it's strong it's sturdy they did sell other other percos but uh they weren't as deep you know you need to have that this thing is this thing is really top heavy it's almost six pounds on top you know so uh yeah that's the only fix i can i want to go fishing so uh, you know let me get this done get it siliconed and sealed all right love you peace all right guys yeah so uh after changing the perco out yeah it does this this one does lock in as you can see you know still wobbly but uh after everything's said and done you know we got the anchor to deal with up here yeah so i didn't want one that mounted so i went this route but uh yeah i give it a four it helps still got to use a handheld on dark dark nights and you know it'd be perfect for flat water but uh we don't always have flat water here anyways give it a four something to think about That's where we're at. Definitely a lot better than the Perco mount. So, because that does lock. There you go. Hope it helped. Peace.